Full and nice. He worked away by Wakeham out through the mid-wicket boundary. The outfield very quick yesterday and again equally as quick for the first boundary of the morning. Jill just working that one away through square. Should pick up a couple. Will be picked up inside the rope and they'll come back in fact for the all-run three. So things in the you know, just a gentle contact, the gentle timing. And that is a nice shot. Pulled away by Wakeham. Crunches into the pickets with a bang. Didn't stand a chance. <laughs> we see a, a replay here. It wasn't overly short from Brendan Dogger, but Wakeham rocks back. Clipping that one away through mid-wicket. Nicely timed again. Racing out towards the boundary, and it will go all the way. So back-to-back -back boundaries. Driving away that from that bucking delivery struck very nicely. Third boundary of the morning. And they're all to awake. He pulls away at this one, up his leap, but it will get away because he struck it so nicely. And that is six to 59. Yeah, hit that magnificently, John. Let's have a look at it on the replay. Wide on the crease, dog it, and a hook shot. He saw him hit a few lovely pull shots yesterday, but that one's cleared the fence. You have to find a way to get 20 wickets on this surface to win the match. Drives and drives nicely through the offside. Should be another boundary here, and is. So Jill really seems to have found his touch. Oh, big shout, but it's well played. Nicely timed, which has been the story of the day, and just beats the fielder into the rope. So another boundary there. Oh, he's pulled that. And that's four. Yeah, nicely struck by Jewel. Looking to really cash in here. Here's Menenti. And he's played that beautifully back over Menenti's head. He's just driven him straight down the ground for four runs. Well, I'd be interested to see if he got a bit of a hand on this because we saw a tough court and bowl chance go down yesterday. He's pulled that, and that is four runs through mid-wicket. Menenti will be getting a bit annoyed at the moment because he's uh, just struggling a little bit on length. He's played that beautifully. He's cut that away behind point. Four runs and a no ball. So just to add insult to injury. That's a lovely shot. A little square drive. And that is going to go for four runs. That's beautifully played out there by Charlie Wackham. Oh, he's pulled that superbly. And that will go away to the mid-wicket boundary for four runs. Doggett just getting short there. That's a lovely shot by Wakeham. Another. Short pulled away strongly. And by six, the two men there at deep square for another boundary. Managed to get a bit of turn and bounce. He struck that fearsomely. Wonderful shot from Wakeham. Just smashed it away for four. Help himself to an easy single. Half a shout. They've charged away and that'll be the 100. Wakeham in celebration mode and so he should be. His second first class turn. Maybe on square league would result in a no ball. Again striking it out through square leg. Feel a giving chase. Should get there. Oh it almost did. Almost flicked it back in there. Nicely played by Wakeham there. 20th four now for him. Driving at that one. Flying for a wonderful catch in the gully. Magnificent catch. I thought it might have got past him. It was struck fiercely there. But he has caught it brilliantly. Coming back in, it'll be Julia Pitcher. Let's have another look at it. And brilliantly caught there. Drew doing a good job to get his hands on that. Great work by our camera crew today on another windy day here at Karen Rolton Oval. And, uh, well, the Redbacks finally break through this morning. Goes for it. In the air, down to long leg. And the catch is taken. So he's fallen for the trap. Well held down there. And the third wicket falls 
for Tasmania with the score at 225. And it's Daniel Drew again by the looks. He's held onto another good catch. New Jewel and Wakem were going to take it on. And he rode his luck a bit before the break and unfortunately didn't quite get that one out of the middle of the bat. And a, a reasonably comfortable catch for Daniel Drew down at... Uh, that long leg there and well he made it look easy coops it was it was it went to him fairly quick as edged and taken at second slip so two down immediately to start this second session for tasmania they lose wicket number four slip there very nice take off the bowling of buckingham and all of a sudden Tassie find themselves in real trouble. Oh, Wade's absolutely hammered that. Down over mid on, and that is six runs. Yeah, touch full from Menenti, and Matty Wade has no hesitation. Not just over the boundary, but over the fence here at Karen Rolton Oval. And Good thing it's school holidays. A little young kid <laughs> on the hill there, run over and picked it up. Oh, that's beautifully bowled by Doggett. That's a massive wicket. Matthew Wade has got caught on the crease. Mont Nedlands, let's have another look at this dismissal. Yeah, thick edge, and Harry Nielsen, who dropped one a little bit earlier in the day, pretty ha happy to get his gloves around that one. Yeah, and it's a good wicket for Doggett as well. He's sort of... Big shout, umpire watching carefully. He's given him. So Hope is on his way. 3.26. And Buckingham gets his third for the afternoon. The first wicket to fall in this final session. And once again, we've seen a, a wicket around the break. That just nips back nicely for Jordan Buckingham. Like you said, he's been hitting a 10-cent piece there, just outside off stump for the majority of the day and wraps him at the bottom of the knee to build this lead. Bolt him! Full toss right through him. Buckingham two and the one over. Owen on his way without scoring. Ray hit back and hit back hard. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happened there. It's a, uh, like you said, it's a full toss. It's hit the stumps on the full. Yes. So it's quite a high full toss. And Owen just managed to play all around it. The sixth of his spell. Oh, yes, he can. Buckingham has just put that straight through. Jared Freeman, and after a fine innings... Don't give me any credit, just a bit of good oh, luck there. Oh, that's beautiful. That, that's a beautiful line and length that's yeah. just popped slightly in. Yeah. And Freeman's played all over that. No footwork, just waving the bat at it. Yeah, it's bent back the off stump. That's where you've got to bowl some. Big shout from Buckingham. He's on his way. That looked pretty straight from here of Jared Freeman and this one very similar delivery just angling in and umpire Greg Davidson says you're on your way son beautifully bold let's have a look at it from front on and that's knocking the whole lot out I am sure so nine down the Tigers have a look from side on no problems there as far as the height's concerned and he's bowled it so that is the end of the, of the innings for Tasmania one overs you just watch it on the replay right through the player there in Webster. He's bowled for 62 and 7 for 71 off. And South Australia away. Smith driving that off the back foot through the covers for four. Lovely shot. Marvellous back foot drive there. And yeah, that'll give him a lot of confidence. Couldn't agree more. Oh, and he's caught in the slips. Henry Hunt, that's beautifully bold. Two-card trick. Well, he went wider on the crease for this delivery, Neil Smith. And Henry Hunt looking to play after being struck a couple of times. Good low catch taken there at third slip. And he's on his way for just the two. And the Redbacks in early trouble. the minute. Oh, and Smith's gone. He has flashed at a ball from Gabe and he has been caught at third slip, I think. Quite there to drive. Let's have a look at it again. The Redbacks now two down already. And just wasn't quite there. Good sharp catch in the gully. And the Redbacks, well, 
In the first innings, they were... Big shout again. He's given him. Things falling apart for the Redbacks. They lose wicket number three. Three for ten after eight overs. Drew on his way. Gets his second. Let's have a look at it on the replay. Johnny did hit him outside the line. Mm, could have, maybe. But uh, I'll tell you what, the ball before. Firmly struck. And that'll go through for runs. Should go all the way for four and will. So... Plays that one firmly through the offside. Four more to McSweeney. For all the edginess and nerves, he's played a couple of nice strokes. Works it away again. Through square leg. And it will be four more to McSweeney. So two boundaries. Nice shot. Not afraid to play them when they're there. Caresses that off the pad. Another boundary to McSweeney's he advances to 19 wonderful stroke there to hit and he said thanks very much and has whacked away another boundary last ball of the day on the drive no can't get it past the bowler so that is it from here